Jesse and this is the Jesse OBS YouTube channel and today I will be teaching you all how to drive a manual transmission vehicle um, there's not gonna be no talking really I'm gonna ride to my destination to where I'm gonna show y'all and then I'll show y'all desired location I chose this um, uh, parking lot so let's jump right into it okay first things first in order to start your vehicle let's start with the starting you know that's the first step literally the first step in driving your manual transmission as you can tell you have one two three pedals hopefully you can see that with this headband you have three pedals down here the one to the far left is the clutch pedal then the one in the middle just like your automatic car would be your brake pedal and the one on the far right would be your gas pedal so the very first thing you want to do when you start it is push the clutch down my truck is already on so i'm not going to turn it off and just turn it back on but you push the clutch pedal in and you literally just start it boom make sure you wiggle it in neutral always just wiggle it in neutral always there's no harm in doing that it's meant to go left and right as many times as you want like that so you're in neutral next step would be to start now many would say that this is the um hardest part of driving a manual uh, to me, when I first started, it was not really that hard. But uh, all people are different. Right now, uh, the e-brake is not applied, so we're in neutral. And as you can see, this truck is not going anywhere because we are on pretty level ground. So um, um, this would be the perfect scenario for yourself, uh, the person watching, um, to learn how to drive a manual, especially if you've never done it before. So first things first, you want to play with the clutch feel when it starts to kind of like push back at you it's just a spring it's literally just a rod pushing on a master cylinder that's all it is so at one point the pressure plates little metal things are supposed to bend back and release the clutch okay so you will feel that point in your clutch pedal you can feel it get stiff you can feel it get really stiff and that is when you're fully disengaged in the, in the top of the clutch pedal, it's gonna be really soft. It's kind of dead, honestly. You can wiggle it around. I'm not sure if you can see my foot wiggling it around. But that, at that point, there's nothing happening. That is That, that point is useless to you. And people call it different things. People call it the engagement point. They're called, some people call it the G-spot as a joke. But um, um, you'll feel it. It'll, it'll be really tight. That is when you're gonna wanna release super slowly after fully engaging a clutch pedal. Now, I say slowly because I can't really find another word to describe how slow you need to release the clutch pedal. Looking at someone drive, it honestly looks like a pause, but it's really not. They're just going super de duper slow. So you want to push in and release. And then once you feel like the truck is oh, like like, like it's like oh shit, then that's when you release. It looks like a pause, but you're actually releasing like half a centimeter at a time. So um, uh, let's get a quick example of how that looks like. I'm gonna go into that parking space up there. Uh, what you do, first gear, you're in first gear, you're gonna release your clutch. Look, there you go, she's moving on her own. I'm gonna give her a little more gas, and we'll be driving forward. And then we're all the way out. Now I'm gonna stop right here. It's simple as that. When that clutch is fully disengaged, or when you're disengaging, when you're at that engagement point, that biting point, the G spot, whatever you wanna call it, the vehicle will require more gas. You will need to give it more gas in order to get it fully going because now your flywheel is merging with a still object, which is your clutch. So when they're meeting and they're touching, it's like, whoa, which one's gonna win? The part that's barely spinning faster than um, uh, the still object or the still object. If you don't give it any gas, the still object will win and you will do a thing what's called, what is called stalling. Stalling is when your vehicle literally just shuts off because you released the clutch too fast or you did something like that So remember that that's the first step But when you get into any car go ahead feel the clutch pedal see feel when that spring when the clutch pedal kind of becomes harder to push down at that point that's Stamp that ingrained in your mind at that point is when you are gonna be releasing ever so slowly It's gonna look like a pause Literally, no one ever says it. I watch all the other videos and people just say, oh, you're gonna release slowly. No, they don't, they don't. They, someone who doesn't drive manual, when they're releasing slowly, they see it like this. And most of the time it's not like that, not in most cars. 
Now, to be fair, this is a V8 rear wheel drive vehicle. This is cammed, carbureted, full exhaust. This is a little bit modified uh, truck. The bigger the motor, the easier it will be to drive the vehicle. The easier it will be. So the smaller your motor, the less powerful your car, uh, the harder it will be. And there's gonna, it's gonna take a lot more skill. And this truck, honestly, um, a kid could jump in this with knowing the fundamentals, you know, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. A kid could jump in here, into this, really, and um, uh, and drive it because the clutch is it's pretty, it's pretty forgiving because it's so because this motor is powerful, or at least more powerful than um, um your Honda. <laughs> With that out of the way, let's assume that um, you already can get your vehicle to move. So when you have it moving, remember, you release slowly, it's gonna beg for more gas, you're gonna supply it, and then boom, you're rolling. You are rolling. The third thing you're gonna need to know how to do when driving your manual vehicle is switch gears. Now, in order to switch gears, you have to separate the motor and the transmission. Now there's no one here in this parking lot, so I'm just gonna go straight on these spaces. So you're gonna go, go, your motor's getting a little too loud or your rails are already past like two something grand, push the clutch in, change the gear, straight down. They're in numerical order your gears. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. That's how it works. They are in numerical order. And that's how you do it. Now, once you're moving, your clutch pedal becomes a lot more forgiving than it is in first gear. So when you're moving, you still have to release kind of slow, but definitely not as slow as you have to do in first gear when you're barely getting moving. Um, um, it gets easier and easier and easier in between each gear. So in first gear, that's like the hardest um, engagement point to learn. Second gear, when you release, you may kind of like hump back and forward or whatever because you know, you're still learning your vehicle or whatever. And uh, third gear, you can honestly release it kind of fast and it would still, it wouldn't make that much of a difference. Fourth, same thing. Fifth gear, you're moving too fast for it to even know something. You can really just boom, release. I don't recommend it. I recommend to practice, you know, good practice and um, uh, drive correctly. Remember this diagram. Remember this diagram. This is called an H pattern. This is how this works. Your reverse could be in different places, but all of this is essentially the same. One, two, three, four, five. It's called overdrive in these vehicles, but that's fifth gear, essentially. Now that you know how to take off, and how to switch gears, let's move on to a point that I don't see touched on in enough manual transmission like um, show like enseñanza videos. So here's what you're gonna do. Let's assume you're driving, right? So boom, you already learned first gear and you can move your vehicle greatly, right? Boom, you're moving, you're moving. You know to switch to second gear. Boom, you're in second gear. Now that you're driving, you're like, whoa, shoot, well, I wanna slow down, what do I do? Anytime you slow down, you push the clutch in and you push the brake in. Leave it in second gear, assuming that you're in second gear. Talking about second gear, whenever you're making a turn, that turn is always going to be in second gear. Always going to be in second gear. Let's say you're going a little faster, here's what I would do. Anytime I'm braking, I clutch in, neutral turn my signal on and I perform my turn and now when I want to get moving again second gear boom you see that and you're off second gear is the best gear to do any turns in I guess you could put it in first but I mean first essentially is just to take off all you need first for is to take off so what I recommend is when you're in your parking lot learning do this practice this putting it in second gear and turning if you teach yourself to use that clutch when you're braking you're gonna learn that clutch a lot faster and it's just good practice to remove it's just good practice to do so so yes practice putting it in neutral putting it back in second and releasing your clutch this is gonna become super elementary once you learn trust me but yeah and what I like to do it's not necessary. A lot of people don't like to do it. A lot of people like to wait until your car is begging for gas to uh, give it gas. I kind of like to give the pedal a little, a, little, a little blip, you know? I like to look, listen to the motor, go off a little bit, 
and then I release. That's what I like to do. It's a lot easier when you're driving. But once you know your car or whatever, it won't be absolutely necessary. But yeah, that's what I want you to do. Go around and practice that. There's other things you should probably learn, like downshifting and rev matching and all this other stuff. I guess I can show you. I mean, you saw me in the beginning, in the beginning clip. I'll just throw that up right now. matching slash downshifting because they kind of tie in together um what you do essentially is you're driving ha, ha let's say you're in i don't know like let's say you're in fourth gear right you're in fourth gear and then you want to slow down right or you know you're going to slow down or you just want to be cool and obnoxious or whatever you want to downshift into third gear what you would do is you push the clutch in after pushing, look, you push the clutch in, you put it into your desired gear, and then you, you blow the throttle. What you're doing essentially is you're bringing your revs up to match how far, how much the transmission is spinning. Remember, this is a, this is a game between how smoothly can you merge your flywheel, aka your motor, and your clutch, aka your transmission. That's all this game is. When you learn how to do that, you'll be more than set off in rev matching. So now, you know how to drive a manual transmission. One thing I tell other people, everyone who asks me, hey, can you teach me, can you show me, what do you think about it or whatever, is just do it, do it. Don't be don't be scared to go out and actually do it, you know? Obviously don't be dumb and go into like um, uh, public roads, like right off the bat, you don't even know. But just do it. Just do it! The only way to get better is by literally performing the task that is driving this transmission. You have to do it repetitively. Repetition is key. That's the only way you'll get better. Practice makes perfect. If you like my truck, I'm doing a lot of cool things with it. I'm pretty much the only YouTuber, YouTuber if you call me that, um, uh, with a manual transmission OBS. Really making videos, I'm the only one. So if you like the truck, if you like the transmission or whatever, go ahead. Uh, subscribe uh, tell me what you think about it anything you want I read and respond to every single comment even the haters so I respond to everybody y'all cannot escape me I hope this video helped you out a ton and uh, I wish you the best of luck in your journey of learning the manual transmission have a blessed day